All right, this is a Diamondback tactical uh, plate carrier here in uh, OD. Powell's webbing on the front, Velcro strap up here for putting ID, morale patches, whatever you want to stick on there. This whole section down here is Velcro backed for addition of whatever you're putting on it. If you're running a cumbered bun or something that has to come around and Velcro to it. The shoulder straps on here, same thing, Velcro. Quick adjustment on here, however tight you need them. Pull them over the front, nice and easy when you're wearing it to just reach up and grab these tags. Kind of rip it, pull it tight, Velcro it down, pretty snug on you there. Easy to get out of too. If for some reason you had to dump it and you just pop these buckles, rip those up, and the whole thing would kind of fall off of you. Not really like a releasable cirrus, but pretty pretty quick. Or if a medic had to work on you. Yeah, if, and... if say you took a bullet to the side or some shrapnel or something and they had to move this out of the way, all they'd have to do is that and kind of push it out of the way. Not cut it off so you're not ruining it. Yeah, kind of handy. On the side here, there's some buckles that release the strap over there, ITW. Uh, adjustment on here has a little elastic keeper. You can fold all the webbing up and put it on the back if you're not running like a web dominator or something on there, duct tape, whatever you want to use for that. On the back, same thing, just covered with PALS webbing, and reinforcement here on the shoulder straps, uh, pretty good quality, good stitching, a lot of reinforcement going on. Uh, this one is a size medium, so it'll hold medium sappy, e-sappy plates, 10 by 12. This one here, a lot of them will have a, a flap that will overlap and Velcro or something like this. This flap overlaps the whole unit, Velcros, and has snaps in here. And it has some grommets in the bottom to allow drainage if you were doing something. Got water in there. Allows it to drain out so it doesn't rot or mildew the nylon. Is this uncomfortable when it's on? Having those in uh, your back? I've actually never felt those. Okay. I thought maybe they would push in and hurt or leave wear spots or something, but haven't had any issues with them yet. I guess it's in the concave of the armor, so. Yeah, there's probably some guys out there that wear them a lot more than I do mine that might have some feedback on that. Uh, made in the USA, Diamondback Tactical. Down the street in Phoenix, right? Yep. You can see here it's Velcro and snap, so it takes a little bit of work to get that flap to get opened in there. And then just has a pouch in there for a plate. Same thing on the other side, same construction, Velcro with the snap. Really good quality, I uh, really like this one a lot. This seems to me like it would lend itself to be in if you wanted to run a large in back and a medium up front. Yeah, if you had the option where you could get a rear carrier that was bigger, you could fit a large plate into. And then you could run a medium up front, give you a little bit more coverage on the back. Uh, but yeah, but the, the pouches inside are a little small. I don't even think you could fit a plate backer up in there with it. So uh, on the rear one, over. you might be able to. On the front, it's really snug just getting the plate itself in here. So I think this one you would probably want to wear over soft armor. Even getting like an e-sappy plate that's a little bit thicker in here might be a little bit of a struggle for a medium anyway. Well, here's the Diamondback Tactical plate carrier without plates into it. You can see it is just one large pocket inside. There's no support straps or elastic or anything holding it in place because the pocket is sized pretty tight to the plate, so there's not a lot of movement in there. You can see all the stitching on the inside, the cross stitching, reinforcement for the Velcro panel that's on there. And the back part, same thing, just one big open pouch in there. One thing on this didn't cover earlier, uh, on the PALS webbing across the front, it's another thing that I'm not really too big on here, is they base it on a center row right down the middle and then space off of that. So if you're running like a, a triple Blue Force Gear 10 speed or any kind of a triple shingle on there, it's kind of hard to center it. You have to off center it somewhere, which just one of those little things that bugs me. Uh, this one has a few more rows. Didn't say 
uh, a similar plate carrier from Paraclete. If you kind of compare here, the piles of webbing goes over and kind of overlaps all the way down to the sides, whereas these just stop probably about an inch from the side on this one and from the Velcro maybe half inch on this one, so they're even offset a little bit on there. And that shows you kind of the two different shades between like a Ranger Green and OD there.